this is not the time to talk about any limitations for reaching children. That's, that's very, very critical and very important. And we should not allow any reason to prevent us from reaching the children wherever they are with what they need. So what are the toys you are providing them right now? Can you give us some examples? Yes, of course. I mean, the recreational kits, they, they include things like a football can be very good for a child, you know. Something else is also some uh, coloring books with coloring pens. We also have some games that they can uh, play. We mm. have also skipping rope, a skipping rope. All these are things that occupy the child. Do you have now a estimate about how many children are being affected? Uh, in what ways they're being affected? Many of them are sleeping outside. We are already seeing an increasing number of children who have acute respiratory infections, for example. We are uh, worried because there is a big impact on the water infrastructure. So far, we have assessed around uh, 7070 mm. water tanks in the region of Hama alone that have been damaged as a result of the earthquake. You know, because the water tanks usually are on elevated structures and this moved during the earthquake. So the water tank cannot be used anymore. So we need to do rehabilitation of the water tanks. And we are worried that if this is not done and if sufficient quantities of water are not provided to uh, people, wherever they are in these big uh, uh, centers, Mm. then there could be a lot of waterborne diseases that could start appearing among the children. Tell me more about how you are planning and working while planning at this moment. Our first reaction, of course, was to start in many areas water trucking. Whatever supplies UNICEF had in the warehouses, and when I say supplies, I'm talking about water purification tablets. We are talking about family hygiene kits for the families. We are talking about some blankets for the children. So this was given and some emergency health supplies, mm. uh, like essential medicines for mothers and uh, children. So mm. that was our first reaction in the first few days. Then, of course, UNICEF is part, we, we started water trucking. For example, in Aleppo, we are doing water trucking for around 60,000 people who are not in their homes and who are in these uh, public places. And already we started in some locations establishing these safe spaces for children to be able to play. There, there will be specific actions that will be in the area of nutrition, for example, in the area of water and sanitation, in the mm -hmm. area of health, in the area of nutrition, and in the area of education and uh, child protection.